was good. So one of the questions I always get is, do credit cards help build credit? And if you knew how much points you're losing out on by not having a credit card on your credit report, you're gonna be shockingly surprised. So I'm gonna show you how much points you're losing out if you don't have a credit card or if you don't have no type of revolving account on your credit report. So you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. So we've been misinformed as young adults, stay away from credit cards. Credit cards are the devil. Don't ever, ever get a credit card. Just pay your bills on time. Paying your bills on time do help your credit score. However, that's not the only factor that counts, right? Having a revolving account on your credit report helps you to get excellent credit. So if you don't have no credit cards at all, it's hurting your chances. And I'm gonna show you how much points it's costing you. So according to the FICO score, according to the FICO 8, according to what banks are pulling, this is what they're pulling, right? The highest credit score you can have is an 850, right? And the lowest credit score you can have is a 300. So that means you have 550 points to play with. 550 points. So payment history, 35% of 550 is 192.5. So paying your bills on time do count. So 300 plus um, 192.5 is what? 492.5, that's still bad credit. So revolving, um, the next major factor of your credit score is utilization. So by not having no revolving account on your credit report, you're missing out on 165 points. So 30 point, I mean, 30% 30 of 550 is 165 points. So like I said, I'm gonna show you what you've been missing out on, 165 points. So if you don't have no revolving account on your credit report, once you instantly open up a revolving account, once you instantly open up a credit card, you're gonna see a major increase. I'm not gonna say you're gonna have 165 points, However, you're gonna have way up there 50, 60, 70, or even 80 points, depending on what's going on on your credit. So let me keep on breaking down the other factors. So 15% is average age. So 15% of 550 is 82.5. So that just comes with time, that just comes with history. So the more accounts you have, the longer you have them, the more points you're gonna start seeing in that factor of that credit score. So um, credit mix. You want to have revolving accounts. You want to have installment accounts. So if you don't have revolving accounts, like I said, it's hurting you. So 10% of credit mix is 55 points. So if you don't have no revolving accounts, it's costing you points. So you want to have installment accounts. You want to have revolving accounts. Your installment accounts are personal loans, car loans, student loans. Your um your revolving accounts are credit cards, store cards, charge cards. Those are the different type of accounts you want to have on your credit report. The next major factor is new accounts, hard inquiries, right? So depending on what you're trying to do, 10% of 550 is 55 points. And that is what you're missing out on. So the less hard inquiries you have, the better. If you open up a new account, it does help you with your credit score. So it just all depends on what you're trying to do. But if you're building right now, you want to open as many accounts as possible so you can start building and having that age because the worst time is not to start. So what you need to do is start right now to start improving your credit. And if you have any um, anything on your credit report that's hurting you, if you have any collections, any charge off, any repossessions, or anything that's hurting you from actually increasing your credit score, what you wanna do is start with this letter right here, this um, secret letter. You can get that secret letter, it's gonna be in the, um, in the description. And basically what this secret letter does, it sets the credit bills up to get deletions. So what you wanna do is always set the credit bills up to get those removals off your credit report. And if you haven't watched one of my videos, I show you step by step by step on how to improve your credit. So go ahead and watch that video and I'm gonna show you what you need to do to improve your credit score so you can have that um, 750 or 800 credit score that you always wanted thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the other side of good credit and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate y'all